What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. We've got a new update for iDevice Toolkit, my application that allows you to install tweaks on your device, my iOS 16.0 up to 18.5, and this supports all devices. Let's see what is new because there are a lot of new tweaks available. So I have a device in here that has the application installed. And as you can see, if you get the latest version right now, this one has many more tweaks compared to the previous version, especially on the aesthetics over here. There is now the option to disable the do not disturb icon, disable brightness icon, hide large battery, icon, you know, hide the lock icon, passcode background, disable CC blur, and many other things. The switch to Helvetica font is now fixed as well, because there were some issues with it, creating some uh, problems in applications and stuff. Now it's been fixed. Then you also have here on privacy, the option to disable the call recording, but do keep in mind that these two options, kill camera, shutter sound, and disable call recording, these may not be legal in every country. There are countries who have legislation against disabling these. So you should check in your location what are the laws about this because depending on the case, you may not be able to enable these. And you do get a warning when you try to enable them. Here on the audio, you also have a couple of new tweaks to disable the payment sound, so the Apple Pay bings, the uh, low battery sound, and also the uh, charge sound and the airdrop sound, you know, the ping that it makes when you try to transfer file. Now this also includes now an option to keep the tweaks refreshing in the background. For example, this over here, the disable call recording, this one requires location services. And the reason it does that is to keep the application in the background. We use location services to create some sort of background service for the app so that iOS doesn't kill it in the background so that we can keep on applying the tweaks. And if you tap here at the top, this little airplane over here, there's the background settings. And once you give it enough permissions, you can start background monitoring. And with this on, the application will try to reapply the tweaks that require reapplying every so often and it will keep reapplying them in the background so that they do not deactivate. Especially this one over here with the call recording, this one is particularly twitchy and it will require reapplying every 60 seconds or so. I've taken this tweak from MDC Zero, so big shout out to that. And all these tweaks in here that have been added, the new tweaks are courtesy of jailbreak.party, so big shout out to those as well. Now you can get the application, the latest version on my GitHub and it's available here on my website as well. If you go here to iDevice Central, there is the link in the description for iDevice Toolkit, navigate all the way down and there should be the IPA file, but it's also available on GitHub, the version 1.8.0. And this one contains all these changes. So definitely go ahead and take it, try it out because it contains a lot more tweaks now. This video is brought to you by Flexstore. If you want to install your favorite jailbreak like Uncover, Dopamine and Taurine, but also jailbreak tools like Apps Manager, Plank Files, uh, Trollbox and Misaka, you can get them without a computer from Flexstore. They sign it for you with a certificate you get from them and you don't have to worry about seven days resigning and expiration and revokes so check it out in the link below their catalog of jailbreak applications is just plain huge thank you for watching i'm geos now till the next time subscribe to stay updated grab the latest version of iDevice toolkit and peace out